all signs. I have a channeled message for you today. As always, just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. It's a general and timeless message for all signs, but if you would like a personal reading, one-on-one -on -one personal session, or Akashic Records, you can go to 144bluerosetemple.com, or you can email me. All that information is going to be in the box below. And as always, thank you for your love. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for being here today. If my energy or my readings resonate with you, feel free to subscribe, click on that notification bell and the like button so you can know when the next reading does come out. I'm getting a past life because I do have the past life deck in my hands, but I'm getting a past life message for you collective. Uh, but I'm also seeing of like how it plays a role in this lifetime. In this lifetime, you resonate as being like a solitary witch, wizard, sage, whatever it is. You're very much on your own. I, I'm getting solitary. And that was going to be the original channeled message for this is that you're like a solitary wizard, witch, sage, medicine, man, woman, whatever it is for you. However, that's because you've come across enemies. One, 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 as soon as I say that. You've come across these enemies, because I don't believe in enemies, but enemies, ops, from another lifetime, in this lifetime. What I'm seeing is that you were in a coven or a group, some sort of like cult, right, or in another lifetime. Your soul gifts were actually too powerful for them, uh, where all of a sudden all of these lower energies, like of ego, jealousy, competition, all of these other things would come in and through. Uh, and people like try to take you out 144. Okay, so 144, as soon as I'm saying that, in this lifetime, it's like you came across people that would try to even take you out, but just because of your spiritual gifts. Like your presence, your gifts, your knowing, it would bring up rage in others. It would bring up insecurity in others, triggers in others. And so in that lifetime, you had to go into hiding and you were solitary because it's like the people in that town and that group that coven, whatever it was for you, um, we're kind of trying to take you out. Okay. Uh, they were trying to stop you in any way, shape or form, even if it's projecting their own energies and securities, evil eyes onto you. Um, you still have that pain from that lifetime though. I'm seeing your heart space right now in your throat space. Hecate may also resonate with you. Uh, I'm just seeing you releasing the pain from that lifetime. And you've also come across some of those people that tried it in that lifetime, uh, in this lifetime. Okay, Divine Mother and Father, Holy Spirit of God, what do we have for this message for all signs today for the collective? Of them being solitary practitioner. Yeah, lessons and blessings, okay? Lessons from another lifetime. 333, three, three, as soon as I say that. What do we have for this reading, for the collective, for being a solitary practitioner? And I want to use the word practitioner because you really, you know, it could be anything. Look at that. Ooh, look at that collective. Now we do have farm. Farm keeps coming up. Okay, so some of you, horses though can resonate with you. It doesn't have to be a farm, it could be a horse. Um, horses in general as a power animal. Lessons and blessings, karmic relationship. You've come across the same people who try to take you out in another lifetime, but it's because of your spiritual gifts. All right, and that's, uh, there's a heavy importance on that. We now we do have monk or nun, and then knighthood over here, okay? Knights of Templar may even resonate with you. So you definitely were some sort of practitioner, priest or priestess in some way, shape or form. Now, uh, you've had the lessons in this lifetime of those karmic people that try to take you out, try to project their insecurities or this or that onto you. It doesn't work because you are living in your soul gifts. Um, however, your soul gifts actually really trigger people. I'm gonna grab some more cards over here. Now we do have the card letting go, allowing a higher force to take charge for a time. What do we have for this all signs message on them being a solitary practitioner? Yeah, there's so pain in the heart space over here. You have seashell divination, wisdoms of shells. Some of you even know how to read shells. Shells can also mean something to you here with the conchment C card. Now we have earthly spirituality, community, ocean conservation. Open your heart, allow yourself to be tender. There's still that pain in those 
energies, emotions from that lifetime of feeling casted out, of being forced into some sort of solitary confinement. For some of you though, like it really was just hiding from this group of people or from people or a community because it's like they would always project onto your soul gifts. But what it does feel like is this was a spiritual community. So it's interesting because they're spiritual themselves, but yet your soul gifts were like too much for them to the point where they'd rather project onto you, run away from you when, you know, all you maybe wanted was connection, okay? Uh, and for some of you, you feel that in this lifetime of feeling solitary, but because of your soul gifts, Okay. Uh, now we do have open your heart vulnerability. The time is coming for you where you've cleared out this energy and you're going to have community. You're going to have soul tribe. You're going to have people who see you, who love you, who respect you, who hold space for you. This feels like it's something that's been very painful on your heart. Okay. Uh, where you do want community. Um, but in this lifetime, you didn't have it. You didn't have it for part of this lifetime, particularly like the one that you're living in now. Um, but it's coming that time because you're releasing this past life energy finally for good and these past life emotions too. All right. Uh, now we do have Lumeria returns, earthly spirituality, community and open your heart. Okay. Now let's see what the tarot has collective. What do we have for this message for the All Signs Collective on them being a solitary practitioner? What do we have for All Signs on them being a solitary practitioner? I, I see things shifting for you. With the Nine of Swords energy here, this feels past life. There's some sort of like past life fear. But again, you have come across the karmic relationships in this lifetime, but that were meant for you to own your power. All right, and put the power back into yourself. With the Nine of Swords over here, I'm seeing a lot of the energies of fear, dreams. Some of you are experiencing insomnia as well. Then we do have the King of Coins, okay? Uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But what's also coming through, though, because it said earthly spirituality, uh, you're going to finally be able to come out with your gifts. It feels like a coming out, like I'm coming out with your gifts. Uh, but you won't have to hide yourself away. You won't have to water yourself down or tone yourself down. Uh, your gifts are your gifts. There are people that are going to love and to accept you, not going to persecute you, you know, or um, project onto you. This feels like you really earthing, uh, materializing some sort of dream, vision, or goal, you know, or just the embodiment of your spiritual, your higher self. Now, why do we have the Nine of Swords here for this reading on them being a solitary practitioner? Why the Nine of Swords for being a solo? Oh, Jesus. Why the King of Coins over here for being a solitary practitioner? Yes, but uh, there's something new coming in for you here, Pisces, okay? Your higher timeline. Why Page of Cups? Ten of Swords. Yeah, I, I do really see you still feeling some of this past life energy in this lifetime. And I do see you clearing a lot of it too. Uh, Page of Cups over here with the Ten of Swords. You do have people that you've come across that it's like your natural energy collective makes has made people feel less than or just again, your presence, your energy brings up insecurities. It triggers people, but it triggers people to the point where they'd rather kind of take you out, get rid of you, project onto you, hurt you, then them actually just deal with whatever that they're feeling. And I don't feel like it's you collective. What is the collective's energy in this reading? You're, you're on, ready for a brand new cycle collective. Why the world card for this? Ooh, ooh, collective. You, you are high priestess energy. The world card, the high priestess, okay? You though are releasing finally untethering yourself from the cords of this past life you are a high priestess your soul gifts are strong and maybe they do trigger people but you're coming into this new timeline collective where you are going to step out it's an i'm coming out and i don't fear um the way that other people feel just about your natural presence and that's what it feels like it's just your natural presence it's your soul gifts um, but your energy does really trigger people here. But it triggers people to the point where they're like, oh, I'd rather hurt Pisces than deal with whatever that they're dealing with, okay? Uh, or collective. Sorry, collective. 
Pis High Priestess is a Pisces card, but this is a collective all signs message. But I love you, Pisces. And a bird just flew by too. So owls or hawks can resonate with you. Why High Priestess in the World card for the collective's energy? You have so much ancient spiritual wisdom within you, collective. This is not something for you to hide. I do feel like, again, we're seeing in another lifetime, you had to hide it because people really did not like it. Uh, you're very, very balanced in your shadow and in your light. High Priestess standing between the two pillars, the chariot card. This is you self-confident. This is you just in your knowing and in your truth of I'm coming forward. This is who I am. These are my spiritual gifts, etc. Um, without the fear, shame, or guilt, or even the doubt that comes from this lifetime. Now let's go back to this lifetime over here for you collective. Devil card, nine of swords. It is these karmic energies that are trying to um, provoke, project fear onto you to hold you captive. Look at this person that uh, it almost looks like they're in confinement with that same devil card energy face over here. These karmic energies and people. Part of this soul contract is you owning your spiritual power, owning your gifts of like, no, I'm not going to tone myself down. I'm not going to water myself down. This is who I am. And again, it feels like you don't do much. You don't have to say or do much. It's just your natural presence, your light that really triggers people here collective. They'd rather put you in a box uh, because it makes them feel more comfortable. Why the devil card with the nine of swords here? Yeah, quite literally a box. They'd rather put you in a box because it makes them feel more comfortable. Okay, but definitely in this lifetime collective, um, you were living, in, unfortunately, in a lot of fear. You had to be quiet about certain things. You couldn't tell people about your gifts, your visions, etc. Um, about what you do, whatever it is. Why the King of Coins with the Two of Wands? We have the Empress card energy here, okay? So you're definitely coming into a very abundant and fertile time. And birds are definitely uh, maybe a power animal of yours. Why do we have Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups? Why do we have Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups? People in the past, it, it, well, yeah, people in the past, they did what they did. The people who are coming in the future, they're not going to hurt you, Pis uh, collective. You definitely could have Pisces somewhere in your chart, but I just did a Pisces reading. There is someone, though, from a distance that regrets something that they did. This is a page of cups energy, but they're in regret. Oh, okay. So channel the message though of um, Judas, right? Um, and a lot of people thought that Jesus was coming from ego. Yeshua was coming from a place of ego. And they're like, eh, stop him. Stop what he's doing. Who does he think he is? Blah, blah, blah. I'm getting the energy of someone who's in a Judas energy. But Judas, after realizing of like, oh, what did I do? The collective was actually innocent. There's someone from a distance who is in that Judas energy, but they already betrayed you. So they, they already did it, but they're in regret. You know how Judas was in regret when he realized what he did? You don't see this person, but this person is begging to God for some sort of mercy. Why four of cups with the three of wands here? This person is receiving karma for what they did to you and they are in deep regret. Ten of Wands. Why Four of Cups with the Three of Wands and Ten of Wands? They're under divine judgment. Six of Pentacles. It does work out in your favor. I have a lot of chills here. Um, I kind of feel bad for this person. You may even feel bad for this person. Uh, this person, they know not what they do. They tried to betray you, but they were your Judas, 333. But now they're realizing what they did and who they did it to, 144, as soon as I say that. And you don't see them 
They're not around you. They're at a distance. But they're praying for mercy. They're praying for grace because judgment has been declared on this person. You know, and again, this past life of you, like you're not really around a lot of people, this, that. Jesus had 12. And even with those 12, a lot of them ran away. Some of them betrayed him. Collective. You have strong spiritual gifts. Um, and, and it really was Yeshua, Jesus's light, right? His light that just really triggered um, the consciousness of people where they're going to have to think bigger, think more, think outside of the box. Collective. Your Judas is currently praying for mercy. And not that you want, like I'm reading for a collective that, like it's not that you want them to feel that way. You're not that kind of person of like, I hope people get their karma and things like that. This is actually kind of sad uh, because this person is, is like really going through karma and they regret what they did. They're realizing they were after the wrong person. They're realizing your innocence as well, but also the anointing that God universe source has upon your life. They try to persecute the wrong person. They try to come for the wrong person. Okay. And so, I mean, again, if you're going through those types of things, collective and past lives, if you've kind of gone through it in this current lifetime, no wonder your heart feels so heavy. I do see you concentrating on healing the heart space, knowing that it's safe to be open and vulnerable around people. You could always pray to, I only allow pure, authentic soul connections into my life, into my energetic field. Only connections that are aligned on a soul level for my highest good and for the highest good of all. Affirmations like that, you know, um, and then be open. Allow those people into your life. Um, you know, are you going to be someone who's surrounded by a whole lot of people? Honestly, collective, I feel like your light is too bright. It's not that it can't happen, but you have such a bright light that whether it's the light or the dark, you're going to trigger either side. Either side, High Priestess card, you're going to trigger the love and the light. You're going to trigger the shadow and the dark because you're very balanced. But your Judas here, they're under judgment. All right. Um, so that's what I have for you, Collective. I hope that it resonates. Definitely stand in your power. Hold your boundaries, but also know that you're very deserving of love uh, from all different kinds of people and community. And that is coming in for you, uh, with just the balance of, you know, the boundaries and protecting yourself. What is the, what is the advice for the collective for this reading? Balance. Okay. Also for some of you, your finances are coming into a balance over here, balance in general, but your finances are going to come into a balance. You know, whatever situation this is, it's transmuting, alchemizing to money, eight of coins over here. I do see you just very focused. All right, what are some other cards of advice for this reading for the collective? You have Kali Ma here and experiencing grace. So Kali Ma may resonate with you facing fear. Also, I feel like I have to say this for this person. Um, and whatever this person did for some, like, it's going to be different. I mean, Judas did what Judas did. Like, come on now, like <laughs> ten of swords. Uh, so it doesn't have to be exactly like a Judas, but this person was a Judas energy in your life in some way, shape or form. They betrayed you. They turned their back on you, stabbed you in the back, whatever it was. I feel the need to say this of like, this person is going to have grace because this person's really going through it. But from source, from God, from universe, this person will have grace uh, and they're going to learn that they're never going to do it again, especially to you. They're never going to do it again. But definitely unconditional love and grace. This person's going to have mercy and grace because um, they're going through it. And I kind of feel bad for them of just how they feel. But also share your gifts with grace. That's what it says. Share your spiritual gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. You do not have to... Uh, water yourself down or hide yourself or tone yourself down in this lifetime collective. Share your gifts with grace. Okay, you're very protected in doing so. Kali Ma may even resonate with you. What other cards of advice do we have for the collective? Collective wisdom and the light priestess, okay? Uh, have confidence in knowing who you are. There, there will be all these people who question of who, who you are. 
Know thyself. All right, Tree of Souls, Library, Collective Wisdom, Akashic Records may resonate with you. This is like the Akashic Records card. You know, so you definitely have Collective Wisdom. When I hear Collective Wisdom, I also think of prophecy, you know, so um, you're someone who's very prophetic. Akashic Records can also resonate with you. What's a final message for the Collective for this reading? Yeah, we do have Sacrifice over here. There are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. And what this does feel like collective is uh, it was more this person. Okay, this Judas in your life was just like, uh, nope, take the collective. They didn't realize, though, that by doing that, there would be repercussions. Okay, in some way, shape or form, this person tried to sacrifice you. Even if it's just saying like, oh, look at the collective. Again, remember the 12 disciples, some of them ran. Some of them even denied. I don't know who that person is. They all experienced some form of karma. And so I feel like this is, uh, when it comes to these people in your life, collective, or your your, your Judas, um, was it really worth doing that? Because I do feel like there were repercussions, okay? Um, that's what I have for you, Collective. I hope that it resonates. Share your soul gifts with grace. I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings to your day.